15 billion years before the present. Most of the chemical elements of matter we know now didn't yet exist. Instead, there was an extremely high density mass of neutrons, a lone cosmic egg, and yet this cosmic egg was the beginning of everything. The Big Bang. That's what we call what happened 15 billion years ago. The extremely dense cosmic egg exploded instantaneously, filling space-time with massive jets of neutrons and giving birth to countless atomic galaxies. One of the infinite primordial nebulae born from the Big Bang began to take the shape of a barred spiral galaxy. And near the edge of this galaxy that would later be called the Milky Way, there was a mass of rocks gradually growing in size due to repeated gatherings and scatterings of space trash caused by gravity. When the enormous rock at the center began to emit intense heat due to its own mass, it gave birth to 11 planets of varying sizes in its orbit. Our tale begins in a rather mundane star system on the third planet orbiting a G main sequence star. The time is now 4.6 billion years ago. Surf's up space ponies, it's Uncle Roundy, and, okay, so the last time, I had to look this up, the last time I played EVO The Search for Eden on YouTube, for the second time actually, was almost nine years ago, which is so long ago that it almost seems fictional in my mind now, like, did that even happen? But, about two years ago... I've always wanted to play the precursor to EVO, which is this. 46 Okanen Mato... I knew I was going to butcher that. 46 Okanen Monogatari, the Shinkaron, which is EVO, the theory of evolution. And I said to myself, you know, if they ever finished a fan translation of this, I would play it on YouTube if I ever went back to YouTube. And sure enough, here I am back on YouTube, and I'm playing it. It's a complete fan translation it's the first PC-98 game I've ever done on this channel. You get a nice little credit sequence here where the chaos of the Earth forming gradually settles down into something a little more a little more calm, a little more like what we know as Earth today. Uh, there should be a little more prologue coming up shortly, so we'll read that in a nice little in a nice little voice as well. Creation. Life awakens. With a crust forged by cooling magma oceans, this planet formed land, seas, and air over one billion years by changing vapors in the air to... 200 degrees Celsius rains and absorbing CO2 from the atmosphere into the oceans. And then, 3.5 billion years ago, a miracle happened. Your birth. That's right, you. Sitting at home, watching this on YouTube right now. You, you, yes, even you. You are 3.5 billion years old. And you began as a mere organic molecule. But through constant self-replication, you evolved from a unicellular organism, to a prokaryote, to a eukaryote, to a multicellular organism. Nice centering on the text there, game. So yeah, we get these nice little transitions of us evolving. That's you evolving from a unicellular organism into eventually a, a flappy jaw fish. Kind of getting that anemone look to you. There's something a little more fishy right there. Sort of an eel lamprey look. There you are. You're the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. <laughs> it's beautiful, man. And then we loop back to the beginning. But yeah, EVO, the theory of evolution. If you have played EVO, the search for Eden, first of all, if you haven't, you should go play it because it's freaking amazing. But uh, if you have played EVO before, then you should be able to grok this game's vibe fairly easily. There are some significant differences. I've played it up to a point, which is not very far into it, but we're going to try to go through the whole thing. Uh, and I will explain some of those differences as we get through the game. But first, I need to switch over to disc 2. Because, yes, indeed, this emulator does have disc switching. It's just like the old days. Uh, except for me, it would have been an Apple IIe, not a PC-98. But I remember disc switching. 
It was back when I wore an onion on my belt, as was the style of the time. All right, and I should be able to go through the screen now, press enter. Should fade to the beginning of chapter one. The Aquatic Paradise Era set sail for evolution. I don't know how many chapters are in this game. It's either five or six. It's not that long, I don't think. But you should notice some differences right off the bat if you've ever played EVO. Uh, the first one is that this is more of a... Okay, so here I am in the middle, surrounded on all sides by bullies. Looks like he's finally awake. Thank goodness. We gotta tell the Elder. Oh, it's just like Secret of Mana all over again. He pulled the sword. Now they're gonna go tell on me. <laughs> Wait for me, guys. Elder. <laughs> so, okay, so... First big difference between EVO The Search for Eden and EVO The Theory of Evolution is that this is a uh, turn-based RPG. Uh, and you'll see some of that as we get into fights later on. I have to use the number pad to control things, which is unfortunate because my number pad is a little sticky on certain sides. Hey there, Eurypterid. Hey, look who's up. That's a relief. Everyone's pretty worried. First of all, I need to change my text speed. Uh, display speed. So you use 2468 on the numerical pad to move around. Spacebar to get to your menu. Enter to confirm things. I think 1 is the uh, slowest text speed. Um, forget how to change it now. I think it's... There we go. Okay. Now let's talk to him. I think one is actually the fastest so there we go yes that's mo much better okay if you got questions i got the answers well what are they no you're just gonna keep saying that over and over again aren't you okay what do you what do you want little mr sea urchin i'm the lotus that showed up on the verge of death that's me i'm the talk of the town there are both safe and dangerous places in the outer seas yes there are indeed we will see some of those as we get to the Beginning of the first chapter here shortly. What do you want, Mr. Coral? Mr. Coral does uh, not even have a care in the world. La la la. In the deep blue depths, la la. Anything else? Beyond the South. Oh, it likes singing. What's beyond the South? Will the South rise again? I don't think so. It's going to be another three billion years before that, at least. So you're the one that all the Thelotus girls have fallen for. <laughs> That's right. All right. Thank you very much for the flattering compliment, Hadiste. Oh, yes, I am a rake. Indeed. Anybody else around here that I should talk to? Hey, there's another Thelotus. You look like me. Are you a friend? I'm feeling fine and dandy like sour candy. Yep. We could even be the president of the ocean someday. How about... Oh, you're way down there. You look better. Good for you. Ah, oh, thanks. Yeah, it must be all the... must be gas. I'm sure it's just, like, indigestion or something. Feels like something awful and terrible is coming. Oh, no. That can't possibly be the case. This is an undersea paradise. Speak of the devil and he appears. Oh, this is the elder. Okay. Oh, no, it is an elderly Thelotus, but it is not the elder. No sea is more wonderful than ours, yes, and nothing will ever happen to it, ever. Oh, there's the Elder, okay. I thought the Elder would be on the plateau over there. Wonderful, wonderful indeed. Yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh, such nice children who brag about their good deeds. You should do good deeds in secret, like Jesus said. You don't know who that is, it's gonna be another couple million years. All right, the Lotus D, back your truck up. <laughs> oh, goodness. Yes, be nice to each other. This is a fish-eat-fish -fish world out there. We all have to be nice to each other. Now then, youngster. I don't know where you're from, but you certainly surprised us by looking exactly like you. Oh, by wandering into our sea, all lost and exhausted, and then immediately passing out. <laughs> yep, that's pretty on brand for me. Everyone was so worried about you. But anyway... All right, this sea is now your sea. Be nice to everyone. Okay. Okay, so, oh, it's a speak to everyone kind of deal. Is it like a speak to everyone kind of thing? Gently flowing along the currents is the best feeling. Yeah, I'm a big fan of the Lazy River, too. Gently swaying feels so nice. The light on the ocean surface supposedly hurts. You can't float about like this up there. Should I try it? 
I can sit in the volcano smoke pretty. Uh, it won't even let me go up to the surface, I don't think. Okay. I move pretty quick, though. I'm a little speedster. How about you? Alright. Yeah, I'm moving around. Lickety split. So I guess I have to talk to everybody. Yeah, and then a thing happens. There we go. It's the old Final Fantasy tip. Talk to everyone. And then you'll start uh, a giant disaster. This won't do at all. Uh, I didn't do this. What are you? Man, people... Well, not people, I guess. I'm so sorry about all my... Well, you don't have to apologize for your legs. They make you who you are, Mr. Hadiste. You're gonna be the strongest you ever was, little child. Well, if you don't die in a meteor accident or something. You. You feel sick? Well, get away from me. Social distancing, please. You want some venom from my stinger? Hey, you were so nice earlier. What is everyone's deal? You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna get out of here. I don't I don't like the way I'm being treated. Wow, boy, they turned on me on a dime. Everyone's acting completely different. There must be some curse at work here. Yes, a curse. That's always the first thing we should jump to. Definitely the most reasonable hypothesis. I know. It was you. Oh, well, I guess the Elder is not immune either. Everyone changed when you got here. Bastard. Curse at the Lotus. I'll teach you a lesson. Thank you, the Lotus Girl, for being the reasonable one around here. The light is what's causing everyone to go crazy. Yeah, sunlight. Can't trust that garbage. It's polluting the atmosphere. I was lucky enough not to be touched by it. Do I look like I've changed you, Elder? Nope. Y you look like a you look like the same old Thelotus you did earlier. The light is the cause. Don't blame it on this Thelotus. Well, that was childish me. However, I have committed to a course of action, and I must kick you out. There's no way we can go back on that. I have been touched by the light, and therefore I am cursed. Uh, well, the Lotus Girl, you tried, but looks like they don't want me here. And you know what? I don't want to be here. Please just leave. Yeah, well, fine. I don't want to... I, I would not want to be part of any club that would not have me as a member or something like that. That's not it. I just wanted to say farewell, even though we just met. Yes, thank you, Thelotus Girl, for jumping on that sword for me. It has made you infinitely more attractive to me. I hope we meet again someday. I can sense some kind of power in you. A very great power. <laughs> yeah, I get that a lot. Oh, he's your grandpa. Oh, well, talk some sense into him for me. He is kind of the worst. Be careful in the Easter Ocean. I hear all the fish there are violent after being affected by, by the light. Farewell. Be safe. A little sniffle. Yes, I will be safe. So, off we go into the big rowdy ocean. You were cast out of the Thelotus Sea due to something you had nothing to do with, which is always a great way to get a story kicked off. After your departure... The Thelotus Sea was washed away by mysterious rapids, but you would never learn of this. I'm learning of it right now, because the omnipotent narrator is telling me. And anyway, good riddance to those jerks. That's what they get for cursing the light. So now here I am out in the wild. Uh, there is stuff to do out here, but uh, this is kind of a good stopping point, I think. We'll go ahead and stop here, start getting discussing mechanics and stuff. Hey, how about you uh, get away from me, please? Boy, he is charging right toward me. Do not fight me. I don't want to fight you. Well, this sucks. Well, I guess we're explaining this now. I received three points of damage, and he has way more. Damn, I couldn't get away. Okay. Well, I can't really give it the slip, can I? Oh, great. I fainted. Cool. Because of something that... Don't worry. Game over isn't too terrible in this game. I'm just right back where I started. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the menu so that nothing chases after me. The Lotus is not something I want to mess around with yet, as you might have guessed. But we will uh, start messing around with enemies that are a little more in our wheelhouse next time.